Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol FIT Fitbit. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually just today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like you this time frame, I think it's a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out with levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. No, I don't mean to state the obvious or anything, but obviously a very eventful day uh, with earnings and the gap down and everything. But after this dust has settled, uh, from a trading perspective, there's some definitely very interesting dynamics going on. And the dynamics, you know, essentially all revolve around kind of where did each of these, uh, you know, push down stop. So let's start with the first push down, the first 30 minutes, the bears were pushing it down, and then it finally stopped right there. Again, after this, the bears started to push it down once more. However, on this push down, how you know, low did it only go? Well, right there. And then finally, you fast forward to this afternoon, and the bears tried several times to push down, and the lowest it could get was up there right at that point. So this is kind of just confusing, but that's what I want to quickly illustrate. So what I want to do here is now just throw in some annotations and... What I'm trying to convey is that the bulls started to show some nice signs of progress via these stair steps. So I realize this is kind of, I'm not an artist, but hopefully I'm conveying the fact. So if you picture each one of these as stair steps, you can see that over the course of time, the bulls started to construct some upward stair steps. Now, don't get me wrong, and I really wish trading in the market was this easy. Just because you know Fitbit got hammered out of the gates and then started to build higher stair steps does not mean that this is guaranteed to go up back up to five dollars and seventy cents tomorrow i'm not saying that there's no such thing as a guarantee now would it be shocking to see some sort of continued bounce tomorrow no that would not be shocking at all but myself nor anyone else can sit here and you know make any sort of guarantees because there's just no such thing as a guarantee in the market so a nice interesting dynamic put it in those higher bases and we'll see if that's going to lead to any sort of breakout uh, going forward and as far as you know breakout what would be that first hurdle that the bulls would need to clear and kind of you know get the party started if you will or at least start to bring in more eyeballs set off some scanners and create some momentum and that would just be the top of this little range right here once again i'm not going to count the number of times uh, but i guess i can quickly do that right around it looks like four to five times the price got right up around this 490 mark give or take a few pennies and you could see just could not quite push through it so 490 is going to be that initial area of resistance where if there's going to be any sort of you know continued upwards price movement you know that is going to be that hurdle that needs to be cleared and then the next key level of resistance after that is going to be the purple line right there which is that famous 50 period simple moving average so all in all yeah not the greatest day if you're some sort of investor that bought before today but from a trading perspective and as far as the chart is concerned an interesting setup so let's see how tomorrow and the next few days all unfold. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.